So I feel like my job is to heal out loud and be so much myself that every woman who encounters Girl Just Heal feels that she has no other choice but to heal and grow and evolve into the best version of herself because that's exactly what she's surrounded by the moment she enters this space. What's poppin' home, girls? Welcome back to the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm Nimoya Bazin, and Chad, listen, y'all listen, we are 10 episodes in. What? Look, let me give myself a round of applause, y'all. This is episode 10 of the Girl Just Heal podcast, and I am super excited. I was thinking back on it, and I'm like... Girl, you really got a whole 10 episodes out of doing something that you didn't even think you was going to do. Like, baby, you were scared to step out on faith and just do it. And look at us now. 10 episodes in. This is so wonderful. God is so good. And I am just so grateful, so thankful. Thankful for each one of you for just listening. Y'all tune in each week, baby, and y'all be showing out. So I appreciate y'all because without y'all, I couldn't do it. I can't do it by myself, okay? And I'm just so filled with gratitude. 10 episodes in is a milestone. And I'm going to celebrate the small wins, okay? That's what it's about. I'm going to celebrate those small wins. So I just had to say that because I have so much gratitude. But with that said, how are you doing today? I pray that you are doing well. Let me know in the comments how you are doing. Leave me a review if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, Amazon Music, or whatever platform you're listening on. Leave me a review. Let me know how you're doing. Make sure y'all are following the podcast. Y'all subscribing, liking, rating, and all of that good stuff. I see y'all. I see y'all so much. A lot of y'all have really been coming through, and I'm just so thankful. So... We're going to go ahead and get into this episode, but today I want to do something just a little bit different, okay? Just a little bit. So I have been getting a lot of reviews, a lot of great comments from the homegirls. And so today I just want to shout out one of the homegirls, okay? And we may um, do this in each episode. I'm going to try to keep up with doing this, but it is a lot. So, you know, I'm going to try. Um, but this review is from EJ. And it says, woo, a blessing in disguise. Spoken nothing but facts on top of facts. I love this entire podcast, but girl just set those boundaries. I felt that on a whole nother level, man. Okay, she must be from Memphis because she's she like a whole nother level, man. <laughs> she said, this spoke to me in ways where I had people telling me to set my own boundaries. This episode is what I truly needed to hear. I steady let people use me and I could never say no. But now I'm putting myself first in everything I do, period, EJ. Don't get me wrong. I'll help from time to time, but don't think you can continuously use me and hurt me in ways I'll deteriorate and tear myself down. That's not right or fair. Thank you so much for allowing God to use you and getting this work done for this podcast. I'll forever be a listener. EJ, thank you so much for that wonderful review. And thank you for your kind words because it's not always easy to step out and do what God is calling you to do. It is so much fear that comes with the unknown. And for me, stepping out to do the Girl Just Heal podcast, it was the unknown. I didn't know what to expect. All I knew is I had a vision and I had a word from God that said go. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to step out on faith and I'm just going to go. I'm just going to do it. I don't know what's going to come out of it. I don't know how far I'm going to make it with it, but I made the decision that I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow bring courage of its own. I'm going to operate in today and do what it is that God is calling me to do. And I worry about tomorrow when I make it to tomorrow. So thank you so much for that review. It was so like heartfelt. And I am just so thankful that God is using me to impact ladies around the world. This is such an amazing journey. Like, whew, I can't even begin to tell y'all. I'm going to have to say that for another episode. But this has been 
one of the most amazing journeys that I have been on in my life. And I just, I appreciate you, homegirl, so much. All right. So now y'all already know what time it is, baby. <laughs> it is time for the prayer cards. Prayer cards. It is time for the prayer cards. Prayer cards. Hey, hey, prayer cards. Prayer cards. Hey. Hey, it is time for the prayer cards, and y'all know I get fired up. I get so fired up, so, so fired up when it's time for these prayer cards, and y'all have been loving them, and let me just tell you, I'm on my way to the Dollar Tree soon, y'all. <laughs> I'm on my way soon, because I got to get some more, because I ain't even counting how many we have left, but we, we getting down to the nitty-gritty, baby, and it's almost time to re-up. So um, if you know of like any prayer cards or cards like this, I know I've seen cards floating around uh, social media, but I don't know if they are prayer cards. So if you know of any, leave me a comment and let me know so I can know exactly where to look and try to get some more. I prefer like the prayer cards with the scripture and stuff on it. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go, right here. Boy, I done messed all around in this deck today <laughs> trying to pick a card. Okay. Come on now. Okay. All right, so our scripture from the day comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34, and it says, he gives grace to the humble. Mm. Chad, listen, I was just talking to my brother earlier today, and we were talking about humility and, like, just staying humble. In a lot of things that we do. And that has been my prayer. We're going to go to it in like another version in a minute. But my prayer to God has been, Lord, keep me humble. Keep me with a spirit of humility as I am traveling through my healing journey, as I am traveling through whatever this is that you have me doing. Lord, keep me humble during the process. And I know that we always say what we're going to do. But one of the things I've figured out and that I've come to understand is that you don't know what you're going to do until you get in a situation. So me personally, I'm always like, baby, when I get famous and people know my name, everybody around the world know me, I'm going to be so humble because that's the person I am. I've always been that person. And it's like, you ain't experienced that side of life yet. So you don't know what you're going to do. And even though I have so much faith in myself that I am going to be this humble being when I get to those levels, I still have to stay before God's face and say, Lord, keep me with a spirit of humility because I don't want anything to rub off on me because I'm human. Okay, baby, I am human. And so I have flaws. I make mistakes. I make bad decisions just like everybody else. And my thing has been, Lord, keep me humble through it all. So let's go ahead and go to another version. Um, We're going to do the Amplified version. So the Amplified version says, though he scoffs at the scoffers and scorns the scorners, yet he gives his grace, his undeserved favor. My God. Woo! <laughs> Oh, my goodness. God's grace is undeserved favor, baby. We ain't do nothing to deserve the grace of God. Do you hear me? Do you? Hear? We ain't done nothing. Nemoya, you ain't done nothing to deserve the grace of God. No matter how many good deeds you think you do, no matter how good of a person you think you are, there is nothing in this life you have done. There is nothing in this life you can do to deserve the grace of God. His grace is undeserved favor. But that's the thing I love about God, because even though we don't deserve it, guess what? He give it to us anyway. <laughs> Yo, I got to clap on that one because that is a word. Child, look, even though we don't deserve his grace, we don't deserve his favor. He is so kind. He is so God to give it to us anyway. Nobody but him. I'm so glad God don't treat us like we treat each other sometimes because sometimes we be trying to hold back. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I'm not going to give this to you because you didn't do what I asked you to do last year. And God is like, even though you failed yesterday, even though you made a bad decision last week, my grace is still sufficient for you. Whew. 
Chad, let me finish. Y'all know I get worked up on these prayer cards. So the um, rest of this verse in the Amplified Version says, Yet he gives his grace, his undeserved favor to the humble, to those people who give up self-importance. Baby, it ain't always about you. Woo. Man, look. It is not always about you. You have to be willing to give up some things, to give up who you think you are. If you want to experience certain things in your life, if you want to get to certain positions in your life, if you want to reach certain levels of healing in your life, you got to give up who you think you are. Because sometimes we think of ourselves more highly than we ought to. And we shouldn't, we have to stay at a place of humility in our lives to know that, hey, The things that I'm going through, the things that I'm doing, the things that are taking place in my life, it's not always about me. Like, even though I'm experiencing so many wins with Girl Just Heal and the Girl Just Heal podcast, I still have to keep myself humble enough to know and understand. And I'm talking about really knowing my heart and really accept the fact that it's not about Nemoya. It's not about me. It's not about bringing glory to my name. It's not about people knowing who I am and just praising me. No, it's about, first of all, me being a light to people and then me letting people see the God in me so that they can come to him and so that they can also heal and begin to rediscover themselves, find their new identity in Christ, begin to heal, grow, evolve, build healthy relationships with themselves. So I have to keep myself humble and all of us, All of us, that is something we have to do in life. Practice humility. And if you don't know how, say you a person that's like, well, I think I'm humble, but I don't really know if I'm humble or I don't know how to be humble. Pray to God and just ask God to reveal and to fill you with the spirit of humility. And he'll do it. He will do it. Use this Bible verse. Go to this Bible verse. You know, like the Bible really, the reason why I love the Bible app is because you can go in there and you can type in anything that you want. And it's going to bring up scriptures. It's going to bring up Bible plans. Like, it's going to bring up a lot of stuff. So I use the version Bible app. So make sure you go download that and just look up some scriptures. I'm telling you, it is time to get your life right, okay? To just experience wholeness on a whole new level and incorporating God into your life, baby. Whew. Baby, look. That's the best thing you could ever do, okay? So, oh, y'all know them oh, them prayer cards be setting your girl on fire. I love them so much because God just be speaking through them prayer cards, and he speaks in ways that I don't even be knowing he going to speak. And that's why I love him, too, because it's like in this moment, I get to share with you exactly what he's putting on my heart. I don't look at these prayer cards before we start. I don't know what we going to, I don't know what the prayer card is going to be. Until I get here and I start recording for y'all and we pull it together and we do it together. So I just thank God for that. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. And in this episode, I really just want to come and have like a heart to heart conversation with you, homegirl. Okay. And I just want to tell you to just breathe. Just breathe. Sometimes we just get so caught up in the cares of day-to-day life, or we get so caught up in our healing process, and I'm just trying to make it to this next level, I'm just trying to make it to the other side, that we work and work and work ourselves ragged, and we tire ourselves out, and we forget that in the moment, during the process, during the journey, we have to take some time to just breathe. And let me just tell you something, and if I'm talking to you, take this And do with it whatever you need to do with it. But hear me when I say this. You ain't superwoman. And you can't be superwoman. You steady trying to be superwoman. And you hurting yourself more than you helping yourself. You delaying yourself. You delaying your process. You keeping yourself stagnant more than you are moving forward. Because you trying to save everybody. You trying to save everything. You trying to pour from an empty cup. And it's like, who filling your cup? Who who filling you up? Who's pouring back into you? 
but you out and you exerting all this energy trying to be safe, trying to be superwoman, trying to save everybody, trying to be there for everybody when you need to just sit back and breathe and just understand that, look, it is okay for you not to be okay sometimes. Contrary to what anybody say, I... I really run from them people who be like, oh, I'm just happy every day. Nothing, nothing's wrong with me. Oh, I always have a smile on my face. I don't go through anything because I'm just this, this joyous individual. And I'm like, girl, you lying because, baby, we all have our days. We all have our days. And you got to understand that it's okay to not be okay sometimes. But what's not okay is you staying there and not getting up again. So it's okay to cry. We don't like to talk about that because people don't like to keep it real and raw. People don't like to tell you that it's going to be days where you don't want to get out the bed. It's going to be days where you feel like you can't live no more. You don't want to live no more. It's going to be days where you feel like everybody's against you, where you feel like you have nobody in your corner. But people don't want to tell us that. They, they want to keep that part from us. But no, baby, we letting it all out. We keeping it real. We keeping it raw. We keeping it regular here at the Girl Just Hill podcast. And I'm here to tell you, you going to go through some days. You going to experience some times when you just do not want to life. Okay? Life is getting the best of you. And you like, you know what? I, I can't keep doing this. It got to be something better than this. But when you find yourself in those moments, instead of you giving up, instead of you clocking out, instead of you just saying, I throw in the towel, baby, take a moment to breathe. And I'm telling you, that will make all the difference when you sit with yourself and you say, it's okay that I'm not okay today. Just talk to yourself in the mirror, lay your hand on your chest and say, look, girl, it's okay that you're not okay today. It's okay that you don't want to get up today. It's okay that you don't want to face life today. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here with you. But after all of that, you still, honey, bounce back from it. Don't just let that take you out. Don't just let that destroy you. Don't just let that keep you down. You bounce back from that. But also understand that sometimes... You got to sit in those emotions for a little bit. I like to say that sometimes you got to feel all the feels. All, I'm talking about all the feels. Because the thing is, when we are going through our healing process, like it's not going to always be peaches and cream, as people say. Like it ain't going to always be peaches and cream. You're not going to always have these good days. It's going to be some days that you like. I've made this much progress but I don't feel like I can go no more. Like, I feel like this is it. I have come to as far as I can travel, and now I'm just going to give up on everything. You are going to have days like that, and I want you to hear me and hear me well because those days are inevitable. They going to come. Those days are going to come, but it's in those days that you find just a small glimpse of hope you find just a small glimpse of something to where you say, you know what? I'm having a bad day today and I'm going to let myself feel all the feels. I'm going to cry. I'm going to scream. I'm going to yell. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to release this frustration, to release this off of me. But then I have a plan to get up again. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to feel all the feels, but I'm not going to quit. And I just wanted to come and encourage you today because sometimes, baby, we forget to just breathe. We forget to just. Oh, my goodness. That ooh, Child, look, we're going to do that a couple times, okay? Let's just do that together a couple times. That feels so good. Just deep breath in. Release it. Yes, whenever you feel so overwhelmed and you feel like, baby, I just can't make it through, just breathe. It's okay. It is going to be okay. You, you don't have to be okay every single day, but you do have to make a choice and get up again, especially if you want to be on that other side of the pain. 
If you want to be on the other side of the trauma, you want to be on the other side of the insecurities, you want to be on the other side of the low self-esteem, you want to be on the other side of the suicidal thoughts, you want to be on the other side of the abuse, the toxic relationships, the toxic friendships. If you want to be on that other side, sometimes you just got to take a moment and breathe and know that, okay, I'm going to take this moment to sit still. But after this moment, I'm going to get up again. So, in the words of my good sis, Sarah Jakes Roberts, girl, get up. Girl, get up. You can do it. And I'm here with you. We are here with you, the community. And by now, you should know, the Girl Just Heal community, we are here with you. Like, we riding this thing together, baby. We, look, nobody's out here to heal alone. The days of that are over, baby. The Girl Just Heal community, we riding this thing out. We riding the wave with each other, okay? So, reach out. To the community, the Facebook community, I'm telling you, it is such a gem. And if you have not joined the Girl Just Hill Facebook community, let me just say this. Um, this community then grew to over 200 homegirls. Over 200 homegirls are in the Facebook community. And they ain't just there to sit and look around, baby. They are there helping each other, interacting with each other. We are healing together. I cannot begin to tell you how God is moving. All I'm going to say is you got to be in there to see it. Because nothing I come on this mic and say is going to do it justice. Baby, you got to be in there to see it, be in there to experience it. So if you feel like you need a community as such, I encourage you to join the Girl Just Heal Facebook community and you will not be disappointed because this is a community that's really like, it, it's really a, a great tool, a great resource for those who are going through their healing journey. All right, so that is it for this episode. Y'all know how we gonna close it out. We are going to repeat the Girl Just Heal mantra. And you know how we do, just collectively drop in together. We're going to close our eyes a little bit just so we can feel it. If you driving, no, homegirl, don't close your eyes, baby. Okay, keep your eyes on the road, but just feel it and repeat this mantra. And the mantra is, I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today... I choose to heal. My God. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. All right, y'all know how it goes. Third time is the charm. We're going to drop in together. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. Fear, you cannot live in me no more. And today, baby, today, this moment, this second, this minute, this hour, today, I choose to heal. Ooh. I need you to just believe that affirmation. Put it on your wall, put it on your mirror, put it in a car, put it on your screen, save on your phone. Put on your computer, wherever. Post this affirmation. Post this mantra so that you can see it every single day. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. So thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. I'm Nimoya Basden. And until we speak again, girl, just heal. All right, homegirl, thank you for tuning in to the Girl Just Heal podcast. We want to make sure that we continue supporting you during your healing journey. So be sure to connect with us on all social media platforms at Girl Just Heal and also join our private Girl Just Heal Facebook community so that you can continue to heal, grow and evolve.